This skill will be performed on the mannequin. Knock and identify your patient. Introduce yourself by name and title. Describe what you will be doing and obtain permission. Close the curtain and wash your hands. When you return, explain to the patient what you will be doing. Place a barrier on the overbed table to provide a clean place to place your clean supplies. Gather four washcloths, a towel, and a privacy blanket from the supply shelf. Be careful not to allow the clean linens to touch your uniform. You will need a chucks for this skill to place under your patient during cleaning to keep the bed dry. Place all the supplies on the overbed table. Obtain a wash basin and soap from the bedside cabinet and place the soap on the overbed table. Take the basin to the sink to fill with water. Use a paper towel to turn the water on, check the water temperature with the inside of your wrist, and fill the basin one quarter of the way full. Turn the faucet off with a paper towel and discard the towel into the trash. Ask the patient to check the water temperature. For the test, the evaluator will be checking the water to verify the appropriate temperature. Place the basin of water on the overbed table. Obtain a pair of gloves. Ensure that you are explaining what you will be doing before performing each step to help the patient feel more comfortable. Carefully unfold the privacy blanket over the patient's top sheet. Do not snap or shake the blanket. Instead, carefully spread the blanket out over the patient to provide privacy and keep the patient warm during the skill. Have the patient hold the blanket in place while pulling the sheet down under the blanket to the patient's knees. Open a chucks and hold it with the plastic side facing away from you. Roll the chucks toward you about three quarters of the way down. Place the chucks on the mattress beside the patient. Apply your gloves. We will be placing a chucks underneath the patient while we clean in order to keep the bed from getting wet. Assist the patient to scoot her body toward you so she is lying on her back near the edge of the bed. Verify where the catheter and tubing are so you do not pull on them as you turn the patient. Roll the patient on her side and unroll the clean chucks onto the mattress and tuck the rolled edge under the patient's hip. Move to the other side of the bed. Scoot the patient toward you. Assist the patient to tilt up on her side and smooth the clean chucks towards you. Return the patient to her back. Move the overbed table within easy reach and place all four washcloths into the basin to keep warm. Explain that you will be briefly exposing the patient. Roll the blanket up above the patient's waist, ensuring that the gown is encased in the blanket so that it will not get wet. Be careful not to pull on the catheter as you roll the blanket. Open the towel so it is folded in half and place over the patient's thighs to minimize the exposure of the patient. The only area that should be exposed is the area where we are washing. Wring the first washcloth out and make sure it is folded into fourths. Hold it in your dominant hand with a folded corner at the heel of your hand and all four leaves pointing upward. You will apply soap to all four leaves of the washcloth. Tuck the two side corners between your fingers for better control. Explain to the patient what you will be doing. Hold the catheter with your non-dominant hand where it is inserted into the body and starting at the catheter insertion point, wrap the washcloth around the catheter and wipe away from the body at least four inches. Fold the corner down. You will repeat this process with the following three leaves. Set the washcloth to the side. Wring the second washcloth out and rinse the catheter the same way you washed it while holding the catheter in place. 
Use all four leaves, wash away from the body, and fold the corners over between strokes. Set this washcloth aside when finished. Use a corner of the towel to dry the catheter the same way. Wring the third washcloth out thoroughly. Smooth the washcloth and ensure that it's folded in fourths. You will hold the washcloth the same way and spray soap on all four corners in the back of the fourth corner. Position the washcloth in your dominant hand. Your non-dominant hand will rest at the top of the patient's peri area and hold the catheter out of the way while you use your fingers to spread the labia apart. Clean with one stroke straight down, then pull the washcloth away. Fold that leaf over. Using the second leaf, clean down one side of the labia from top down and pull the washcloth away. Fold that leaf over. Repeat on the other side of the labia and fold that corner down. The fourth corner will clean the skin fold between the leg and the groin, and the back of the washcloth is used for the other skin fold. The washcloth is discarded to the side. Wring out the last washcloth and rinse the area exactly as it was washed. Once down the middle, fold. One side, fold the corner. The other side, fold the corner. Skin fold, fold the corner. And the last skin fold. Using a corner of the towel over the patient's thighs, dry the peri area from top to bottom, making sure the skin folds between the leg and the groin are thoroughly dry. Remove the towel and replace the privacy blanket over the patient taking care not to touch the patient's gown with your soiled gloves. Assist the patient to scoot toward you and roll the patient onto her side in the center of the bed with her back facing you. Roll the soiled chucks toward the patient and tuck it under the patient's hip. Assist the patient to roll back onto her back in the center of the bed. Move to the other side of the bed, scoot the patient toward you, and tilt the patient up to remove the soiled chucks. Return the patient to her back in the center of the bed. Throw the soiled chucks away. Gather the soiled linens and place in the dirty linen hamper. Take the soiled basin to the sink to clean. Dump the water and rinse the basin. Turn off the water and set the basin down in the sink. Spray the basin with disinfectant spray. Use a paper towel to pick up the basin and dry the inside with a clean paper towel. Discard this paper towel. Dry the outside with a clean paper towel and discard. And then get a paper towel to open the drawer. Pick up the soap on the way to the drawer and place in the basin. Open the drawer with a paper towel and put the basin inside. Remove the barrier from the table and discard the barrier and the paper towels into the trash. Explain that you will be removing the privacy blanket and restoring the sheet over the patient. Remove the privacy blanket by touching only the underside of the blanket, being careful not to expose the patient unnecessarily. Pull the sheet up over the patient as you remove the blankets. Adjust the linens for privacy, comfort, and appearance. Ensure the patient has her call light and the patient's environment is neat and clean. Ask if she needs anything else. Place the blanket in the soiled linen. Open the curtain and wash your hands. Review the steps of your skill, make any necessary corrections, and tell the evaluator your skill is done. Need scrubs for your new career? Visit foryouruniforms.com and enter the code CNA video for a special discount. Need additional resources? For your CNA has what you need. With practice tests, 
an online workbook, instructional videos, practice kits and supplies, and our very own skills book with step-by-step -step instructions, you will feel confident when you take the CNA exam. Visit foryourcna.com today. Continuing education for CNAs are called in-services. In-services are now offered online at foryourcna.com.